Right then, kitty winks. This is going to get very wibbly wobbly. Um, I was watching the other day Matt and Craig exploring some old slate workings up in Wales, and I remembered that we've got slate work workings around our place. Now, there's four sets apparently up here. Um, I only know where three of them are. This is one, easily accessible from the road. Um, I don't know whether it's safe. Got a helmet, got a, a head torch. You'd have to be fucking insane to go in here by yourself. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. There's another one up there, I believe. Um, then there's some which are hidden in the woods and some more which are on the side of the road. Um, now, that's quite an interesting looking hole, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice. Um, there's also two in my village and I don't know quite where they are so I've got to do some, uh, some proper research to find those. But these were opened in 1879 or thereabouts and ran until 1930. Uh, when they were closed down, um, they, the, the slate mines around here uh, employed about 100 people at the peak, which is just after the First World War. So, uh, right, let's have a look, see what we've got inside, shall we? I don't know whether we're going to get any footage that's worthwhile from this, but we'll give it a go. See you in a bit. So this is the second one, um, this is quite big, it's got a big entrance anyway, don't know how far in it goes, I didn't go far into the other one, got in as far as uh, losing daylight, I need a bigger torch, I need to not be alone, um, this one's quite nice, there's the, uh, there's the pick action on the walls, all the way in. So those walls are beautiful. Really nice. Um, there's been a bit of a collapse at the entrance, which is a bit of a worry. But, you know, it is slate after all. Um, I don't know how far down we go. Oh, that one seems to go down to the road on the other side. Wonder where that goes. I'm going to put my helmet on and have a shifty but only in as far as I can see with daylight and my useless little torch. So we've got uh, the remains of handrails and other bits of industrial hookery in the walls there. It's, uh, it's very, very pretty. Uh, we can see on that wall there, where it's been drilled and blasted. Um, what have we got here? We've got a big black hole. I really don't like the, uh, the amount of collapsing that's been going on in here. But that big black hole doesn't seem to go anywhere. With my inadequate torch. These walls are glorious. Oh look, there's a little niche in the wall there. I'd be putting a candle in probably. Another big black hole that doesn't seem to go anywhere. Oh, maybe it does. Or maybe it doesn't. Oh yes it does, bloody hell. There's something up there. Uh, up there, you've got more cavern. Uh, right, there's the niche, just there. The lighting, I would guess. There's a lot more cavern up there. I don't know if any of this is going to come out, not really, no. You can see the edge there, and then above it, you can't see shit. Okay. We've got this quite, oh god, that goes quite a long way in, doesn't it? There is apparently 
two kilometres of, of, of cabins up here and they're all ropey as for this one really is ropey actually I don't like it at all how, does, how far does that lot go in? I don't know right Simon you are by yourself discretion is the better part of valour you're by yourself and under equipped you need it is there more up there? Oh bugger, yes there is. I think there is. I'm going to try and get some flash photos of this lot. Alright, we'll try some photos. So, these are the, one, the other ones that you can see from the side of the road. There's another one hiding just behind there in that hole there um, never been in here don't know what they're like my colleague reckoned that one of them has dropped out its entrance um, at the beginning of the spring which looks like it might be possibly that yes there's a whole bunch of very fresh rock um, okay this does just appear to be a hole like me oh no hang on if we look more carefully we can see there's walls at the back yeah, there's lots of bugger me that has dropped oh no it's supported by those walls isn't it So that's definitely deliberately done. Oh blimey, yes. Now there's a some very nice walls. Which are designed to hold these big fucking slabs up so they don't fall on your head. And I guess that there's an entrance just there into Yon Cavern. Okay, let's have a look in the next one. I'm not going much further in today because, again, by myself. Uh, this is the second one. I have to say, I'm a bit gutted that my mate Alex didn't turn up. He was supposed to be here at 8 o'clock in the morning but decided not to. Um, the metalwork seems to have dropped out of the walls some of it anyway there's still some up there um, remember closed since the 30s all of this so well since 1930 in fact and that's a nice little nice little wall artificial wall holding up chunks of rock and what's behind it this is the sparkly shit that Matt was on about so okay all crikey that's a bit cave-in-y but there's a hole through there you don't want to be going up there Simon in that hole? No, I don't think so. We don't think we need any of that. That looks like it goes somewhere, but Christ knows where. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, that's been exploited through there because there are. If I can get my angles right, bits of metal. We can see them, probably. So, how, do, how does one get into that bit? It was obviously... Probably 
go through the rest. So some beams there. Just falling down. There's a big old chunk of rock there. So again. Right, I'm going to go and see if I can explore and find the entrances, entrances that are in my village. One down, ladies and gentlemen. The entrance to the Ardoisier at Le Londelier. Let's go and have a look, see what we've got inside. I should have taken my helmet, left it in the car like a twat. Wasn't sure I was going to find this. But yeah, you can see the supports at the top. Big old, big old tree trunks to hold up the entrance. It's a bit ropey, but we'll see what's going on. There doesn't seem to be too much new spoil down here. So, uh, at least the cliff face seems to be solid. Right, grab the sticks. And a little trek up there. And it's fun trying to trek up a steep slope while holding a camera in one hand. So this also closed down in the 30s apparently. As far as I know, very few people know about it. Okay. That doesn't seem to go very far. Let's have a look. It's definitely hewn out by man though. Right, by all accounts, there was a cableway that took the slate from here down to the next village. So, um, I'm guessing this isn't all of it. Because that doesn't seem to go anywhere. There's a bit of spoil in the middle, some bits of beam. And I wouldn't have bought, built a cableway for this volume of slate. So, there's the entrance. And it's what, seven, eight metres tall. It's pretty. Do like, do like. So we can see the we can see the drillings in there. Where they've drilled through to blast out. So that's very pretty. Let's carry on, see what else we can find. So cool button. So I'm now a good few meters further up, 20 or 30 probably, a um, bit further round. So just there, uh, sort of that sort of area there, that's the top of the face above uh, above the other entrance. Now, there doesn't seem to be any entrance up here. Potentially just there, maybe, I don't know. It's difficult to get to. Um, so, seeing just in behind, uh, behind those rocks there. Um, I can't see anything. Um, that is getting very scrambly to get to. I don't have an ice axe with me, which is a shame. Um, it's possible that they basically just worked this whole face out. Um, there's a lot of it. Yes. Um, let's come around. There's this whole face up here. But I'm not seeing any signs of it being worked. Mind you, it's been closed for 
90 odd years so that could just be that it's all eroded away 90 winters worth of of erosion so I'm going to carry on round and see if there's anything around the further corner uh, but I'm going to have to turn the camera off because um, it's fucking dangerous it's very slippery we're on, uh, we're on slate spoil and it is quite steep but yeah we'll see what happens right so here we are we found another one um, this I would never have spotted it from where I was because uh, where I was is directly above it and you can't see it from anywhere I just kind of came around on the off chance because I could see some cliffs and there you go now um, on that rock there where the, where the white is just uh, just here we can see that's been worked so that's been worked by humans um, there's a big ass collapse in there but you'll see in there there's wood so there's wood that would have been used to support the beams uh, to support the slabs it's ropey as fuck um, can have a look in and see how far it goes in but uh, this is this one's uh, it's really difficult to access this one you've got to um, if we look down here getting to it you have to go across the top of this and that's you know, nearly vertical and goes down about 300 meters so let's see what's inside of course still by myself no signs of visit it does seem to go in quite a way um, I'm not going to go in very far though because um, I am getting a bit puckery looking at the roof need a big old torch and see what's down there and to come down here with two people so we'll get some photos maybe the flash will bring out some of that we'll see how it goes So, well that was the uh, Londelier, which is just around there. And apart from what I'm stood on here, which is a fairly obvious access road, um, or access path, I'm not seeing any infrastructure. Now apparently, now obviously there's, uh, there's been a hundred years have gone by, but apparently um, the, the slate was taken out by cable, uh, cable run into, into the next village, which is like two or three kilometers. Um, now it could be that it's the same kind of hoist that they use for they use the same kind of hoist that they use for, for pulling trees out of places like this but um, I'm not seeing any any signs of anything having been you know driven into the face of the rock or it's uh, it's very peculiar although I suppose after a hundred years of uh, you know sort of general winter erosion um, that seems uh, seems quite possible that it's just all disappeared. It's a shame, really, because um, you know it's in the woods. It's the sort of thing that would have, you know, or should have just been left in place. And uh, what's ha what's going to happen now, of course, is that I'm going to trip over something, and that'll be and that will be it. Um, anyway, I'm going to head back home now because I'm uh, invited out for dinner, and then we'll have a look for the uh, for the second set of. Uh, second set of slate workings in the village later so there's two there's two sets here or two holes anyway at least and possibly there might be more up there actually I don't know I might I might go and have a poke around one of these days um, although that seems to be more more slope of the mountain and I think what's happened is that they've dug out very much the front of the mountain to, as slate and then gone in in a couple of places um, yeah, it's uh, interesting stuff. See you later, guys.